go that direction. And so I want to invite you into, into that space where you can be able to, um, to, to, to ignite the better, the sweetest part of you in this season. Um, so think about those areas that you're gifted in and use this season to grow a skill around this area. And if you're not very sure where you can you get, you know, um, you know, materials or resources to learn a skill, then ask ask around. I believe um, um, senior students have have seen it all, so they may be knowing one or two things. I may be knowing one or two things, so we can be able to enrich one another. And I think that's a a reflection that I want to keep it uh, alive even through um, through the semester. So uh, moving on, um, moving on is. Um, who is our class rep? Is is Peter still here? Mbogua. Mbogua has not joined today. Is he still our class rep? Somebody, you can type in or uh, say something. Is he still our? Okay, okay. Peter is our class rep, so we will keep it up, keep it at that. Um. um so the other thing is, uh, so like I said, course objectives is one, we want to understand um, web architecture, web logic architecture, let me be very specific on that. But also we want to be able to understand the designing principles around distributed web applications. Uh, let me ask a quick question. Um, what is any example that you can give me of distributed web applications that you know out there? Um, you can type in or you can uh, Oracle, Oracle, Oracle is one. And I, I actually, when I was beginning, I talked about Oracle EBS. Um, um, yeah, and it's amazing. It's an amazing platform that is being used by some of the organizations. I, I came across um, across it in one of the petroleum um, 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 organization here in Nairobi. I think it's in Lower Hill uh, in Nairobi. And yeah, it's, it's actually working for them. And of course, Oracle is very stable and very secure. Any other, you can type in if you want to, um, you know, distributed up web applications, web applications particularly. Okay. Okay, uh, probably you can uh, keep bringing those in. I can see, yeah, Internet Explorer, sure. Yeah, and, and actually even when you think about uh, and we'll be talking about that. Um, I'll, I'll take you through just an understanding of how I want to approach this class. But uh, if you think about even um, uh, platforms, the many platforms we are using today, if you think about Zoom, which has become very popular, and uh, yeah, it's facing the hardest part of it. Um, I was following what is happening with uh, yeah, Netscape is one, another one. I, I agree with that. Um, and Netflix, actually, for entertainment is, is a distributed web application, um, among others. But I was following about Zoom and uh, very interesting to, to see how businesses can rise and fall. Um, those who are keen on business, you may want to actually follow what is happening uh, with Zoom and ask yourself some few questions around that um because because we would have expected that this is the next uh the next who is who in this uh, in this world but now they are coming down so drastically just because of security issues that that, that have been raised uh, around a zoom platform um, but also because competitors have risen up um google meet has actually offered to or google has offered to provide um, video conferencing for free for all of us um and and google is a giant of course and and also facebook are, are rising up as well uh but yes those are distributed web applications um the other thing 
is also we want to so designing principles are key and uh, the reason why this course would in one way or the other mirror with um, distributed systems is the concepts that are employed or that are used in distributed web applications are the same concepts that we use in any distributed application um, either it's a web-based or not it's they are the same concepts and so we may have some connection in there of the concepts that we'll be learning but also um, we want to understand you know the configuration of such environments um, how they look like just some few simulations in there um, and and also i want to approach this from uh, and this is something i've seen working for senior students like you guys who uh, maybe the system is better our class rep is here uh, peter welcome um, so i've seen this working for us um, in as senior students whereby we look at a concept and then we move from a conceptual point of view into application and then we move from application to now narrowing it down to our spaces our real life experiences and seeing how is this applicable to us in our real life environments and so um so that is the same concept i would want to and and in this case or in this class actually my biggest facilitation which will be this forum that will take uh, a maximum of one hour every 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 class um will be to help you understand the concepts but now uh to analyze how that concept has been used in the real world will be um, um, part of our assignment as students. And then also to narrow it down to the level of where we are at as students will also be our engagement as well. And so I will be, uh, I will be facilitating that process. I am looking forward to a time of um, teaching methodology has uh, some of these things have changed a bit. Um, and part of that is, of course, the online class, uh, you know, online collaboration sessions like what we have right now, which I am, I am considering to have this for a maximum of one hour every Friday, first thing in the morning at eight. We meet here one hour. We are done and then we have we escalate our discussions into a discussion forum in that class. And so the discussions that we will have, we will discuss them around the discussion forums before the end of the class. And then also you have uh, the last one hour to be able to, um, to be able to, to also do some case analysis that we will be doing. We'll have some case analysis and I'll share about that in a short while um so i am looking at, at, at um the the kind of engagement we'll have is whereby we have first online collaboration what i'm doing right now um in the morning first thing in this class at eight you you join and i am able to um to take you through um understanding the concepts for one hour and then we escalate that into just um more discussions in the last uh, part of the class okay um and and if you have questions please either type them in or um or um yes or you can uh, keep them and i'll give you an opportunity to share uh, some of those um yeah these are some of the references i'll try and see if i can get some few um some few um, resources or rather ebooks that probably we can share, but also you can check the e library of ZTEC and see what are the available materials. Um, do senior students use the library? <laughs> I hope you guys you do. Um, it's inseparable. Uh, you can't uh, separate 
yourself with learning. Uh, Brian is saying, no, never. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, we. <laughs> Uh, Brand, you need to learn how to use the library, my friend. Um, <laughs> I know, I, and I usually say this in class, it's possible for you to save through the four years without knowing how the door of the library looks like. That's the, the world we are in today. And um, it's very, also very unfortunate. I have come across by the this is a platform i would want you to check it's a platform i of course it's a um it's a it's a paid subscription platform but it it got me thinking a lot it's called mentorbox i have typed it on our chat it's called mentorbox.com um and just this some few guys entrepreneurs that came together and thought I mean, people have issues with reading culture. And so we want to digitize materials. We want to digitize some of those resources and get them, you know, summarized in a way that someone can be able to engage with materials very easily. Um, yeah, so I found this platform very, very interesting. But also for those who are ent uh, entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs, they have a, a platform or they have um, a, a, an initiative called Shift Academy, which is for entrepreneurs, where you can be able to, um, you see what Andera is using or, um, you know, these uh, innovation hubs, uh, what they use. So such a model, and they can be able to take you from a conceptual point of view in terms of your uh, idea entrepreneurial idea and shift you or make you nurture that idea but also connect you with um, some excellent or some amazing um, venture capitalists or people that can actually fund your idea and i found that very interesting i'm saying that because i know there are people here who are uh, very very keen on entrepreneurship so you may want to check mentor box and see is there something you can learn from from them even 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 if it's not a, a maybe subscription um so okay okay i see i see your comments um <laughs> I hope I am not raising people that I'll be <laughs> um, that we will meet out there in the world and people will and you introduce me as your lecturer and I'll say no I don't know you I have never met you <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> but I I hope that uh, regardless of where we are at, that we can be able to grow the area of skill that we are good at by all means that's what I, I could say by all means either you use the library or you don't by all means grow your area of interest grow it from one level to the other let it blossom and that's why i was saying use this time to learn something new yeah excuse me malimu yes please um i have a question uh -huh. um i wanted to know whether in that website the mentorbox.com website do yeah. they provide like pdf copies of those materials that you've seen of like let's say to read them online. so they have this subscription of seven dollars in a month and the, out of that subscription, you can be able to access uh, around 300 books in a month that are digitized. So in a video version, in actually a summary version, you know, these are some of the things you, you, you can only learn when you're on quarantine. You, you get to know some crazy stuff that are happening out there. So they have a very, very amazing, um, you know, way of digitizing materials. 
because, I mean, if you want to be a leader, uh, leaders are readers. That's what they say, yeah? So they are just yeah. realizing how people are struggling with, you know, gaining a lot of wealth of resources that is out there in books, and they are not able to access those books. So they give you this uh, platform where you just sign up, um, mm -hmm. and, and you can be able to access more than 300 books in a, in a month to read. Every single day you have a book that you can read, and within a few hours you can actually uh, read a book. Um, Ian Wawero is saying that my project idea for ZTEC was making a library application which would enable lazy students, oh my goodness, uh, read and, and just listen how, um, how we'll start. I want to make the first ZTEC audio book. Um, Yes, so I think your idea here, if I got you right, is that uh, your idea is a project that can actually um, digitize learning content. And I think it's a need, especially for the African market. Let me say it's a huge need because the Africa, the, the, there is a saying that says, if you want to hide anything for the African, hide it in books. They will never get it. Yeah, so Africans, we are struggling with reading. And I, I must I must admit I am also there. I'm an African. Sometimes we struggle with reading a lot. Um, but if if we have such platforms, such ideas like Mentorbox, they help us to be able to grow um, in that space. And once you jumpstart and you get the momentum of just being a reader, you'll never leave there. It's going to be the order of the day for you. So um, anyway, just let me get back to, um, OK, uh, Brian, I'm just seeing your, your text. I'm just requesting for a project topic. Um, this class may actually be a platform where you can jumpstart um, uh, your idea around what you want to work on. And that could be. Um, um, that could be a project. That could be a project like, um, I mean, that could be a distributed web application. That's an idea that you may want to jumpstart from this class. Um, but also, I am here. I am available so that we can be able to engage um, around that. Now, the collaboration we are having this morning will be graded. Just you being here, asking questions. Uh, you being here um, contributing will actually be graded. Every single one of those collaborations will earn you marks for the final. Um, and that's how I want it to be. So that by eight you are here. But also, and I'll show you how I will be um, how I will be marking your attendance. Now, this is the beauty that you, you don't have the attendance with you so that you mark from week one to week 14 and then you vacate and leave. I am the one to mark the attendance. And so if you come late, I know you came late and I'll mark you late. If you are, you are only present if you are here right on time and you stay through the whole session. That's the only time you are present. It's going to be one hour. Um, um, we started late, so I will extend a bit. But it's going to be one hour. And you are only marked present if you are here through the whole time. Uh, yeah, I can see Shalom is petitioning. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so you're saying it's just the first day i can give a grace period yes i'll give a grace period for today um i will um i will um be gracious for today uh so that next time we start on time um someone is at and we start at 8 30. Uh, you people you want to sleep you people you want to sleep what would make you say we start at nine? Buona class, a 
Ah. Yeah, the reason uh-huh. uh-huh the reason as to why I wanted to start at nine is because some of us go to a very far place to look for network. Kwa hiyo hakuna network sasa inabidi mtu atravel kila asubuhi. So unafika late. Very far. Ah. I am hesitant. I am hesitant to allow that. Um <laughs> Um So, um let me think, let me think. So that would mean for us to collaborate from from 10 from 9 to 10. Um Yeah, from 9 to 10 is okay. It's okay that way. Okay. So that is to me now for me for me for me I think if we were to say that then I would um I would I would, I would suggest that um it doesn't mean that now from 8 to 9 we are just still sleeping uh because what i wanted is we start with this and then we take the the discussions to our platform after my lecture so my lecture will be one you know it will be sort of like a monologue so that the discussion around what we have talked about is escalated to the discussion forums that I will have um so what i would say is um i don't know i don't know because one is you can only be marked present if you are here on time and i'll show you how the the register looks like so um so either 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 you are in joro or wherever you are um still 8 should be the time that you log in here if you are to get um if you are to get uh, me marking you as present and i need you to be consistent in that for for the sessions the the, the sessions that we will have uh the 10 of them uh but anyway uh let me see any adjustments i can make if possible you can add me to the group um and i'll see the adjustments that i can make to that especially for um yeah i'm seeing some of you are saying 8 is okay um let's put it at 8:30 let me say that let's put it at 8:30 that 8:30 you are here you log in uh and i will mark you present if you actually logged in at 8:30 if not 8:30 then you will be marked as late and late may have some or some some of its own um consequences um so and and I'll show you I'll show you the attendance how it looks like and that's the beauty actually of the system you know I'm not the one to dictate it's just the system so once i put you uh, in there it's left to um to you to now consider the way forward um yeah so we will have um our cut will be mcq that is multiple choice questions um that will be set up here and so you will do it i know we have done um a version of this in data mining so it's more more or more or less like that um mcq questions where you can just uh, do them and and submit and you get a great right there um something on on assignments which probably i didn't mention is that the two assignments are actually changing in this class in the sense that we will have case analysis I will provide you with a case study from Google and another case study from Facebook. Those two case studies 
you will analyze them and give a comprehensive document uh, of your findings. And if you feel Facebook and Google are not the right, uh, you know, companies to discuss around distributed web application, because Google is strong in that. I mean, we are talking of 90, I think 92.5 market share for the web, uh, for the search engine. Um, Google is at 90 plus uh, market share in the world for, for search engine. And so they are, they have really invested a lot. But also I was, I was amazed to actually see the concept of Google in big data analytics. It's, it's, it's big, big time. I mean, the Hadoop technology um, is what big data is all about. And that's what Google is using. And so we will, um, I, I will provide those two case studies for you to actually um, analyze them. I will give you a clear guideline, very clear, very detailed guideline on how to analyze the case, how a case study should be analyzed. Because uh, the last time I checked, I know Shalom was saying she wants to do her master's. So when you go for master's level, case study analysis will be the key thing. Actually, yeah, there's no one who is going to come to class to teach you a lot. Much of the teaching or learning will, will happen by yourself through case analysis. And so I'll give you a clear guidance of both how the report should look like, but also how the case study, um, or, or rather the two case studies, how the report should look like and how the presentation will look like at the end of the day. And through those case studies is whereby now we will be able to look at this concept we have learned. How, how does it apply from a distributed web application like Google, the search engine and all that? And then now from the report, you will help me to understand how can you apply this at your level? So how can this be applied in your project, for example? How can this be applied? in in the the government context here in this country how can it be applied even in ZTEC university you will help me to to now bring that um um matthews is saying i request you to pardon me as my bundles are running out in case i sign out um okay okay um i am finishing in the next um few minutes um so that should be at least i'll be through in five minutes then after that i'll take attendance but i know uh matthews you are here the first person Morning. so uh, let me let me just take you through the last part so this is just what the preliminaries or the, the just the administrative issues of this class would look like let me take and so i am done with that in case you have questions, please type them in uh, and I'll be able to address those questions as they come. But let me show you how the attendance look like um, in a short while. Let me show you how the attendance for this class will look like. Oh, okay, I may need to create that. Give me some two minutes just to set up the attendance and then I'll take the roll call. But also in case you have questions around what we have discussed, please type in and I'll be able to answer those questions before we finish. Hey, hey, 
mucho. Mwalimu mbona ume mute? I hope you can be able to see my screen now. Um, so this is this is just um, a bit of how the attendance will look like, and I'll be ticking you um, as uh, as we move on. So Gaucho is saying, um, kindly sir, would you please consider about attendance because the issue about bundles is really a big issue here. If you become strict about attendance, most of us will lose a lot of marks. Kindly consider. Um, the Zitec University is going to provide you with 10 GB of data bundles. That's what I understand. Uh, once the registration process is over, and so I am expecting that you will be able to, um, you'll be able to. To, that will be sorted. Um, okay. Uh, Shalom is saying, Malim, any news from the school in regards to 10 GB data models? I think um, we are waiting for the registration process to end. And once the registration uh, ends, then uh, I think that will be facilitated from what I got from the administration. So if we are sorted with bundles, I think that will be okay. And and actually, the bundles are restricted to e-learning platform. So you may need to actually use them for, for this. Okay, the school sent email uh, about the bundles. I understand that. Please check that um, or uh, contact your class rep. They will be able to advise you. But as as you bring in those comments, uh, let me just be marking the register. Um, where is this? So, um, Caleb is not here. Um, Joshua is not here. Collins is not here. Gaucho is here. So for those who came late, next time I will not give you an opportunity. I'll not take you for uh, if you come late. I saw Ian Wawero is here. Um, Kanchori, are you here? Kanchori is here, okay. Um, who else? Um, Kanchori is here. James Kinyaju, I have not seen him. Um, Matthews is here. Brian is here. Brian Mwangi, how many times are you registered here? Or how many brand Mwangi do we have? 
Do you have two Brian Mwangi? Awesome. Okay, uh, so let's go quick check in and then Rachel will take us through our I am well and I mean. I am well. 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 I am So I think uh, we are done with attendance, um, and uh, I am also done with my presentation. So then the, the other thing is I'll be posting um, all the lectures, including what I have shared today, and uh, the case, the case studies, and the guide to case analysis. I'll be sharing that uh, with you on the platform but before you you log out please listen to the video i posted on the e-learning um yeah just to give you um it was for you so please make sure that you listen to that so unless there is anything else i would want to end this meeting here thank you for your time but allow me by the um yeah it's my custom to pray for the semester uh, in the first lecture. So this is not an exemption. Um, I hope, Shalom, you are typing to remind me that. <laughs> um, but yes, allow me to pray uh, for this semester and then we will, um, uh, I will release us to end the session for today now. Um, let me pray. Lord God, we thank you for an amazing time that you have given us in this space. And uh, thank you for this new semester that you have given us. Thank you that you have kept each one of us alive and safe in this trying time for, in this country and in the world at large. And we want to say that we are grateful for your protection and for your care for all of us. We want to ask that, Lord, you, our blessings will be with us as we continue uh, in this class that you will go before us you give us clarity of thoughts and mind that you will help us to understand the concepts that we need to understand we ask of your provision for each and every student here and those who are not here that they will be provided for in their 
um, uh, for the resources they need, uh, both to connect here, but also for the school fees. I ask for your provision. I pray protectively over each one of us that will be protected and saved in this season and that we will be blessed uh, through the semester. So be with us, guide us, and may your spirit walk before us as we continue. We pray these things, believing and trusting in your name. Amen. So thank you. Thank you. All the best. I will end here. I will be here in case you need to raise any questions, but I will mute myself because there is another meeting uh, that has just started in my house as well. So I'll just mute in case you need to type in. Uh, please type and I'll be willing to respond to your questions. <laughs>